she makes me smile, she makes me smirk It gives me chills, it makes me blush, it gives me work And I can't see her winning, promise you live for her Said if heaven does exist, it will most probably look like her, yeah Welcome to our English class! Welcome, grade 2 students! Rules and Reminders Be ready Find a comfortable and quiet place to study Prepare these things Your module and pencil You may rewatch this video as needed in order to understand the lesson completely Focus and listen carefully don't forget, you are capable of amazing things. Our objective for today, participate in choral speaking and echo reading of short poems, rhymes, and stories with repeated patterns and refrains in English. We are going to talk about Choral speaking Echo reading Repeated patterns and rhymes And refrain What is choral speaking? Choral speaking is defined as a group of people narrating a poem or a dramatic piece. It requires a group of students to interpret and recite from memory orally. Choral speaking helps build students' fluency, self-confidence, and motivation. Because students are speaking aloud together, Students who may ordinarily feel self-conscious or nervous about speaking aloud have built-in support. You can memorize this poem and do the choral speaking. We thank thee. For flowers that bloom about our feet. Father, we thank thee for tender grass so fresh so sweet father we thank thee for the song of bird and hum of bee for all things fair we hear or see father in heaven we thank thee Let's go to Echo Reading. Echo Reading is a strategy to use during guided reading where a teacher or other trained adult reads a line in a text and the child reads it back, matching the adult's emphasis and fluency. Echo reading helps in enhancing the reading abilities of students in various aspects. Furthermore, it helps in building confidence in the students. It improves their listening and comprehension skills. It also improves their vocabularies. Let's do the echo reading. I'm a little penguin. I'm a little penguin. I'm a little penguin. I'm a little penguin. Black and white. Black and white. Short and wobbly. Short and wobbly. An adorable sight. An adorable sight. 
I can't fly at all. I can't fly at all. But I love to swim. But I love to swim. So I'll waddle in the water. So I'll waddle in the water. And dive right in. And dive right in. Let's go to repeated patterns. Repeated patterns are frequently used structure or method of poet rewriting. Certain words and or sounds are repeated for effect or emphasis. Repeated patterns and rhymes are usually found at the ends of lines in a poem. These are the repetition of sounds at the end of the words. These are rhyming words. Let's read a poem. The moon. The moon shines in the dark. The moon is half. The moon is tainted. So is the human heart. What is being repeated in the poem? Very good! The moon is being repeated in the poem. Let's read another poem. Green Giant There lived a green giant whose name was Sam. His hair was the color of strawberry jam. He had one brown and one blue eye. And a beard the color of pumpkin pie. His coat and pants were also bright. Like a peppermint stick, all red and white. His socks were as yellow as lemon pop. His shoes were as brown as a chocolate drop. His hat was the color of gingerbread. With a tall, tall feather of raspberry red. What are the rhyming words in this poem? Very good! Sam and Jam I and Pie Bright and White Pop and Drop Gingerbread and Red Did you get the answers? Well done! Yay! Let's talk about refrain. Refrain is a repeated line or group of lines found in the middle or usually at the end of the stanza. It may be repeated at regular intervals. It is used to emphasize the ideas shown in the poem. Let's read a poem. Open a book. Open a book and you will find people and places of every kind. Open a book and you can be anything you want to be. Open a book and you can share wondrous words you find in there. Open a book and I will too. You read to me and I'll read to you. What is the repeated line in this poem? 
Very good. Open a book. Let's read another poem. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. What is the repeated line in this poem? Well done! Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Did you understand our lesson? Excellent! Let's check your understanding. Identify the pair of rhyming words used in the poem. I'll give you one minute to answer. Time's up! Are you done? Very good! Here are the answers! Toys Boys Sad Bad Play Day did you get the answers? Very good! Yay! Read the poem. Identify the line which was considered as a refrain. I love my grandparents. I visit them always. As they love to see me often. I love my grandparents. When my mother cooks food, I bring it to them. I feel so good. I'll give you five seconds to answer. Okay. Which line was considered as a refrain? Very good. I love my grandparents. I have here two examples. First example. I visited my grandfather. I visited my grandmother. They love to see me often. They love to cook and sleep. They rest under an old tree. Second example. I visit them always. As they love to see me often. 
I love my grandparents. They always cook and sleep. I bring their favorite food. I love my grandparents. Which of the examples shows repeated patterns? Very good. The first example is a poem showing repeated patterns. Two patterns are shown in the given poem. I visited my and they. Which one represents refrains? Well done! The second example shows the use of the refrain. The last line in each stanza shows the refrain of the poem. I love my grandparents. The moon. The moon shines in the dark. The moon is half. The moon is tainted. So is the human heart. What is being repeated in the poem? Terrific! The moon is being repeated in the poem. What kind of pattern was used in the poem? Excellent! A repetitive pattern is used in the poem. Which among the words below rhymes with the word moon? Phone Count Or soon? Good job! The word moon rhymes with the word soon. Let's read another poem. Dreams by Langston Hughes Hold fast to dreams, for if dreams die, life is a broken-winged bird that cannot fly. Hold fast to dreams, for when dreams go, life is a barren field, frozen with snow. What is the repeated line in the poem? Very good. The repeated line in the poem is, hold fast to dreams. What kind of pattern was used in the poem? Very good. Refrain was used in the poem. Remember kids? Choral speaking? A group of people narrating a poem or a dramatic piece. When we say echo reading, the teacher or your guardian will read, then the students will repeat the phrase. Remember? Repeated patterns refer to the repeated words or sounds or rhyming words to give emphasis to the pattern used in the poem. Refrain is a repeated line or group of lines found in the middle or usually at the end of the stanza. For your assignment, read the poem with members of your family. Record a video while reading it. Send your video in our group chat. That's all for today, children. 
Thank you for listening. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. By Eleanor Roosevelt. Bye! It gives me chills, it makes me blush, it keeps me wet. And I can see you winning the Miss Universe. And if heaven does exist, it will most likely look like her. Yeah.